off of the back of that, I've got another topic to talk about that involves Kanye that I thought was fucking annoying. Was this article courtesy of the New York Times written by my best friend, Vanessa Friedman, the woman who was also responsible for trying to bury streetwear because she's obsessed with this idea about the return of tailoring, right? Which is a lot of things that a lot of people in fashion say, which I've always said is for me a dig whistle that basically says we want to get rid of black and brown people in the scene because ever since streetwear took over in what 2017 2016 depend on what year you want to say as maybe it's a collapse collaboration with supreme that kind of set it all off there's been a co i guess a um there's been a coordinated effort it feels like by the people the elites or the, the people in the position of power in streetwear in fashion sorry to make sure that the black and brown faces are somewhat stifled or kind of pushed out because they've had enough of all of us kind of you know essentially taking over paris and making it all about ourselves and being the ones featured on certain websites and bloody blah, blah 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 it's really annoying it's really disgusting but i guess off the back of kanye doing what he's doing and going on this flipping anti-semitic bigotry tour press run thing he's doing it's a bit easier to kind of get out there and kick him while he's down but i feel like this is also really disgusting because essentially it's one person advocating for the firing of some person of another person because they don't like what they said and because they feel like that you know the company should basically have um they basically should have what do you think they, they should have a, a code of conduct or whatever it may be that, that they kind of agree with or something or ethics or whatever it may be it's, it's a strange thing i don't really like it so this is the kind of title currency of a new york times it says can balenciaga break with kanye and it's essentially Vanessa freeman putting pressure on balenciaga to you know uh, uh, end their relationship with kanye because i'm assuming she's jewish herself so it probably hits home and also this is also a good way to in a way kind of trojan horse and get streetwear the fuck out of here because she says streetwear is dead it continues it says in all the noise that has been generated by uh by and about kanye all year as he's known over the last 10 days ever since the disrupted paris fashion week with the yeezy show then the disrupted um the show with the white lives matter t-shirt then embarks in a public flood of attacks against anyone who dared to criticize his message and then escalate to anti-semitic screeds on social media and fox news one voice has been particularly deafening in its silence you could say anybody you could say virgil sorry not virgil r.i.p you could say her impressive you could say Pusha t you could say other people involved in the scene but they decided to pull on Balenciaga. Why? Because it hurts his pocket, hurts his reputation, and maybe affects him in a more personal way and in proxy as well, gets other people to shut up and fall in line. So I, I, I hate it. I think it's disgusting. Balenciaga, the brand whose show Ye opened on October 2nd with a surprise modeling appearance, the brand he collaborated with during his ill fated Gap adventure, and whose cap engineered by Balenciaga products can still be found on their stores. Um, the brand whose designer Demna has described texting with Ye several times a day and who attended the Yeezy show with Cedric. Shabat, um, the Balenciaga chief executive, who's not said a word about his statement, even as Ye's post and A Wars have become ever more incendiary. The final, the thing that I find really interesting about this thing, you don't get the same article from Vanessa Friedman regarding Daniel Lee basically getting his job back at Bur Burberry. You don't get her saying the same things. You don't get her calling out Burberry for hiring somebody who was accused of saying something racist behind closed doors. You don't get her questioning the appointment and whether or not they've actually done any investigation behind the claims. You don't get her questioning people in the industry who haven't said anything, zero. But when it comes to obviously getting a black man out to paint, it's a bit easier to do it. And to, especially somebody who no, they never liked in the first place, ever since her first show they did in Paris in what, 2012 or whatever, whatever it was, he's never really been liked in the industry. And he's always tried to get that adulation and love and they've been basically dancing around it and loving his wife and Kim first, really mostly before him. And it's all been a bit of an uphill struggle, but they've kind of wanted to get him out in general anyway. Um, it comes uh, up until now that I was worked so it says here, um, as Serge Carrera a lecturer in the luxury fashion industry at the Sciences Po University in Paris said the whole industry is in a way guilty of complacency um, but when it comes to Ye in a thrall of his celebrity and co-dependent relationship with fashion is Balenciaga with Ye which has conducted the most enduring affair up until now that has worked in both advantages Ye gave Balenciaga the aura of relevance and a new audience Balenciaga provided a high fashion embrace Ye craved together they became a viral sensation for Balenciaga however it could turn out to be a very dangerous liaison indeed fuck off dangerous liaison fuck off not to mention a case of study of the problems of mixing business and friendship as a desperate creative world's meld into one now fair enough let's take her first statement to be correct it might turn into a dangerous thing for their business but then to go on and try to basically 
end their friendship between Demner and Virgil is pretty abhorrent, I think, personally, in my opinion, that she's going out of her way to basically try to put pressure on Demner to essentially end his friendship with Kanye because of what he said. It's ridiculous. It's literally ridiculous, especially when you consider the amount of things in fashion, the amount of people in fashion um, that people have basically turned a blind eye to. And like I said, the first thing being, the most recent example being Daniel Lee, who is formerly at Bottega Veneta, being accused of calling somebody a fucking nigger in a meeting, and now he's got his job back at Burberry, or not job back, but he's back involved in fashion. He's got one of the best jobs out there in terms of resources, and he's just going to go back and do things again like nothing ever happened. Absolutely disgusting. Thing. not to mention what happened with alexander wang and whatever it may be nonsense the issue that is for blen Shaga, blaming him could be considered a, bet a betrayal to mr carrera not just personally but because Ye has been diagnosed with bipolar disorder and at the same time he said the silence could be perceived as support for the indefensible ideas that he's promoting no one thinks any of the brands that haven't spoken up um about what Ye said that they are fucking co-signing what he said sometimes it's not for you to get involved what can you actually say well you all know being anti-semitic is absolutely abhorrent we all know bigotry is absolutely abhorrent what Ye is saying is what he's saying on himself there's not been many people out there co-signing him the only people that have been co-signing him are people that the society has deemed to be deplorable and to be unlistenable anyway in terms of the you know the Candace Owens and stuff regular people would have never endorsed him in the slightest but we all are not naive enough to um, look past the thing of this guy is a fucking mega celebrity hence why he commands this level of attention and he clearly makes all these people business and he does business with loads of money so they're caught in a bit of a quagmire so to sit there and just think it's just a point of morals and principles is a nonsense is it is absolute nonsense because essentially Dan Lee's been given a job back at Burberry why because not because of moral and principle because of business because they know he can affect some level of change in their brand to the point where he can you know restore their good fortune maybe put some good designs back out there again and make them relevant once more so that risk is worth taking in terms of having some negative comments being left under a post on fucking Diet Prada they're willing to take that risk and it's a business risk it's not a risk done on principle of like oh no we're anti cancer culture no they don't care about that they just know he's a hot designer they know he had a lot of clout and a lot of energy and noise behind his name when he's at Bottega Veneta so why not try and replicate that again at Burberry especially off the back of the disastrous kind of Ricardo Tishi tenure those ideas most likely were Adidas that continues to an article whose almost 10-year partnership with um, Yeezy has been extraordinarily lucrative for both sides, even though this publicly criticized the company's executives. Duh, this is what you can do. When you're, when you're lucrative and you make people money, you can criticize them and say crazy shit. Um, this is what we've known. We've known this even from sports. People in sports team or players in sports teams can get up to nonsense. They can hit their partners. They can have some very funky flipping, you know, SA allegations next to their name. They can get involved in fraud and whatever maybe but if you're really talented people make excuses for you because guess what the bottom line is what happens on the pitch and how that affects the fucking stock price and the sale of shirts it's gross but it is what it is um has issued a statement acknowledging the password together but notes the partnership is under review they are probably why instagram and twitter have locked years accounts why jp morgan has accused so has apparently stepped down as a youtube company's banker and why blenshaw's failure to respond is particularly striking so vanessa freeman is going out of her way to really really try to put a boot in and try to make sure that blenshaw ends any relationship that they have with this guy it's absolutely revolting to be fair this is especially so in context of the social cultural the changes continues here i can only assume many people wrong-footed or confused possibly waiting or hoping for an apology of sorts says um, Luca Solka, luxury analyst of research firm Sanford and C. Bernstein, but he continued. This reminds me of John Galliano. I see one street of implication. I see a one way street of implication. And it says, Mr. Galliano, former audio designer who was fired after a drunken anti Semitic rant in Paris bar and who was later subject to a court trial in France inciting racial hate as a crime, fined and forced out fashion until he had gone through rehabilitation and made years of amends. The funny thing about this issue is also, if you think about it, the John Galliano exile was mostly self um, inflicted. If you listen to his interviews, he was getting offers the entire time he was sitting on the sidelines but he didn't want to get back in because he wasn't in the right mind state and then when he was right in the back mind state guess what happened he was straight into Maison, Maison Marti Margiela one of the premier houses that you can work for with one of the most talented fashion teams or artisanal people in the scene ever so it's not as if like his career suffered that badly and I'm sure whilst he was in exile and sitting on the sidelines he had many patrons who were you know ambassadors or whatever it was they were called behind the scenes making sure that he was able to pay his rent and live a somewhat comfortable life because of his talent so 
Let's not act like people don't make exceptions for people. But therein lies the rub. A typical ambassadorial agreement between brands and celebrity. A famous person is under contract to be the face of the label, which could mean appearing in the company's advertisements or simply wearing its product on a red carpet. But the relationship between Ye and Balenciaga is really a relationship between Ye and Demna. It's a complex mix of moves, collaborator and, and customer, fan, friend and celebrity that has been stewed um, for seven years. It's akin to a creative romance and any sort of professional agreement. It was just this is a bit funny. According to one insider, Ye has been known to refer to himself as Dem the straight husband. And as with any marriage, it's possible that Dem the Balenciaga Ye connection is so intertwined and independent that they're not sure how to disangle it. The only reason why I can see that it'd be disangled, not be or detangled or disentangled, not because of Vanessa Friedman's word, but more so because of what Ye did. When he I wouldn't say docked, but he essentially went out there and basically put the Balenciaga people who agreed with Tremaine's post on front screen on the Jumbotron by showing and highlighting all their names. That's one way I can see it kind of hurting here in that regard. Um, in terms of these personal relationships, so maybe Demo could be like, hey, these are my people, this is my family. They make the brand what it is. You disrespect them, I can't speak to anymore. So that could put pressure on the, obviously the relationship. And then off of the back of it, maybe if Demna has Jewish people in his family and stuff, that could be something that could, of course, affect him personally. But then, of course, just in terms of a pure business decision, if Blanche could tell him, hey, if you don't cut ties with this guy, you're out, then it's a pretty easy decision to make, right? To somebody you've only known recently in your life, not like a cold, old, old school friend. They've known each other for a while, but not super, super long. But I guess it, for Kanye, it'll be really a sense of betrayal because if I'm not mistaken, Kanye was first on Demna, you know, just after his first show at Vetimo. Like just after he was working on Yeezy's season, Yeezy, sorry, season one, he helped out with that behind the scenes. It's just been around the crew from that time onward. So Kanye has been on him and known of his potential and power for a long time. So to have somebody you really think is a friend in fashion, somebody as high up and as talented as he is, to basically disavow you is pretty glim. I think so in that regard. So I'm not going to read the entire article itself, but this is basically Vanessa Freeman trying her best to bury the guy. The funny thing is, if you actually go on the Blanchard collection show, you'll see that the first, this is kind of working out first. This first image is completely gone. I'm not sure if this means this whole outfit is going to get pushed in the front or thrown in the bin, but this first look that Kanye wore with the mouth guard and a hat and a beard and whatever, that tactical vest, tactical jacket is completely gone. They've deleted it entirely from any court of record. So he's not, he's not appearing on there. So clearly there's a, some, Something happening behind the scenes that's happening and something people have realized too that some of the easy gap stuff has been taken off the website as well so clearly there's an issue going on there behind the scenes so let's see what happens with that going forward not really too sure what's going to transpire but i hate this article i hate people kind of advocating for people to lose their jobs um even if what Kanye said was completely abhorrent and crazy and something that i obviously don't condone in the slightest to go out there out of your way to basically force somebody to end a relationship with somebody that's kind of gross because i don't think this happens to anybody else like i said if this applies to all people then i'm for it but i don't see the same article for daniel lee i don't see the same article for alexander wang and various other people in fashion who've done abhorrent things and i think it's completely unfair but maybe that's just me maybe that's just me